when you used to start the yoga meditations, we knowingly, the wide field in which the world appears, through which it is seen, and then the third thing was by which it is created. So I've never really heard you talk about the, how consciousness is creating the world. Maybe it's a very simple answer, but I just want to make sure I don't miss anything because I just have never thought about it. Is that okay. something worth yes. exploring, or yes. am I okay. missing something? Um, have you ever been, Gerhard, to a uh, 3D IMAX cinema? Uh, with it, when you you've taken your, yeah. your 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 nieces and your nephews to to to, and you go in and they give you a pair of goggles. Okay. You, yeah. You know, you, you but you but you know of them. You go. It's not like a regular cinema where you watch the, the movie on the screen. All you see on the screen, without your goggles on, is just a, fuzzy, fuzzy pattern. It's nothing to mm. You put your goggles on. Suddenly you're on you're in the ocean, and the fishes are swimming by, and 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 you take your glasses off and all the kids and, and some of the parents are reaching out to, to touch the fishes as, as they swim by. But then you look at it, take your glasses off, you see the screen again, all that's there is just a fuzzy pattern. But you put the goggles on and it renders the fuzzy pattern in, in, in 3D. The fishes aren't really there. They're how the fuzzy pattern appears when you look at it through your goggles. Yeah. Some of you have been to a cinema like that. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. Okay. You, you're not sure where I'm going. I'm going to explain it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, consciousness is is like the screen. Before the before you come into the cinema, there's no fuzzy pattern on the screen. It's just the screen. It's still. But when the when the movie begins, the the screen starts vibrating. There's just this shimmering vibrating. It's abstract. It, it's just vibration. It's all there is on the screen. It's just vibration. So consciousness is like the screen. It's just like this silent presence made only of pure knowing. But like the screen, it has the ability to vibrate within itself. But its vibration has no has no doesn't look like anything. It, it just, it's just, just, it, it's the I am vibrating, is it, it, this vibrating radiance. What is it that is this vibrating? It's just the radiance of consciousness. It has, it has no form. It doesn't look like anything. It's not in time or space. But then, consciousness um, puts on the glasses of perception. And suddenly, this vibration appears as the universe in time and space. The time and space is not there in consciousness. Consciousness is dimensionless. It's vibrating within its dimensionless. But it, 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 but it, it has the ability to, to localize itself as a finite mind, which is another way of saying putting on the glasses of thought and perception. Consciousness puts on the VR headset. It's called the finite mind. And suddenly, this vibration, the logos, the word, this pure vibration of consciousness appears as a universe in time and space, just like the vibrating screen appears as the ocean when you put on your VR head, you put on your goggles. So consciousness is not really creating the world. There is no world. When you put on your goggles in the IMAX cinema, you don't create the ocean. There's no ocean there. There are no fishes there. It's just the screen vibrating. It just looks like an ocean full of fishes and plants when you put your goggles on. There is no world. There's just consciousness vibrating within itself and simultaneously localizing itself as each of our minds. That is, putting on the VR headset of thought and perception and appearing to itself as the world, as the universe. But it never becomes the universe. It never creates anything. 
there is no creation. We're, we're, we're off the top of the mountain here. <laughs> the, 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 it's... Right, I mean, it makes sense when you say that consciousness in itself has sort of this vibrating yes. quality before any, I mean... Yes, it, it has this ability. It's, it's not... The ability, um, yes. Remember, um, in the... In the Gospel of St. Thomas, when Jesus' disciples ask Jesus to tell them who he is, he says, they ask him, when people ask us who you are, what should we say? He says, tell them I am a movement and a rest. Not just a rest. Not just Shiva, but Shakti. Not just the ocean, but the ocean vibrating. By the way, just... Just to be really, I think you all understand this, but I just want to be really clear. When I say there is no creation, there is. I, I'm not down. I'm, I'm not denying the reality of this experience. I'm upgrading it. I, I'm not. I'm not denying the world or embodied experience or the feelings we have. But no, I'm. I'm. I'm restoring the world as Pasolini said, to its original sacred significance. This is not a denial of experience, it's an elevation of experience. It's a restoration of experience. This, the world is not made out of matter, it's made out of love. <laughs> 